Early yesterday, doctors were saying that only a miracle could save Fiona. Now they're saying a miracle has. In those pioneering days, Fiona Coote's pretty smiling face was the symbol of the heart transplant program. Victor Chang was the medical genius making it all possible. Okay, now we, we can now put the hearts in. The extraordinary talents of Dr. Chang and his team made the miracle of heart transplants seem like just another day at the office. The heart program is now very routine. I think something like 225 hearts been transplanted. Still, Victor Chang never forgot that saving lives like this always came at a cost. For every transplant that we do, somebody will have to give an organ. And for that family, it is a tragic uh, occurrence. Then on July the 4th, 1991, the unbelievable happened, a senseless tragedy. Two bullets took the life of Dr. Victor Chang in a sleepy Mossman side street just before eight o'clock. I couldn't believe it. I think. It was, it was, it was so un-Australian. There was an extraordinary man who had been cut down in the prime of his life, at the greatness of his life. The hands and the memory of this remarkable surgeon touched people from all walks of life. He was uh, uh, a, a, a doctor who filled you full of confidence. Uh, he made me feel if uh, Victor was around, everything in the world was going to be all right. From the rich and powerful to the common folk, they came from all walks, lured, someone said, by an affair of the heart. Knowing that there would never be enough organ donations to save everybody, Victor Chang's dream was to find some answers to heart disease by setting up a team of world-class researchers. By 1994, with government and private funding, that dream had become a reality. Because I think very much this is what this institute is about. That is, to give an even greater meaning and significance the important life that Victor Chang had led before his tragic and outrageous death. It's with very much pleasure, therefore, that uh, I declare the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute officially launched. During her memorable visit in 1996, Princess Diana gave both her time and her profile to the cause, attending the fundraising ball and officially opening the Victor Chang Institute. In barely a decade, the VCCRI has made some incredible advances. The researchers have discovered how this growth hormone transforms usually slender muscle fibres into enlarged fibres. The discovery has huge possibilities. I like to say that we do Rosetta Stone research here. We like to do research that will last for a long time, rather than being a research that you read about as a breakthrough today and tomorrow it's, it's uh, the fish and chips paper. From an overworked team of two researchers, there are now more than 70 full-time staff under the guidance of Professor Robert Graham. We try and bridge the gap between the bench and the bedside, between the hard research and the patient who is sick. The Victor Chang Institute recently won a national award as the Centre of Excellence for Cardiac Adult Stem Cell Research. We're going to harvest all those lovely little stem cells that will be in your blood. This is the first control trial of stem cell research for heart disease anywhere in the world. Another intrinsic part of the Institute's work is its comprehensive cardiovascular research program. I just want to know if you think this band is this one here. That band is not that one there. Good. It, okay. it definitely is not. And we have lots of people who... As well as groundbreaking research, the Institute encourages community education. We like to get out to the community and we do that. We put out a cookbook which helps people in providing heart healthy meals uh, and we go and provide screening tests which aren't available to people in rural areas. Maybe it's our lifestyle, but heart attacks are dramatically on the increase, with 400,000 affected and 200 Australians dying every week. Heart disease continues to be the number one killer in our society and the number one cause of disability. That is, it affects people while they're still in the working years of their life. Well, at the moment, uh, we occupy part of another institute's building and uh, the conditions under which the scientists work are becoming quite intolerable. There just isn't enough space uh, for the equipment 
and for the people necessary to uh, operate this institute. Neville Rand was both patient and friend of Victor Chang. And now as chairman of the institute, he is one of those leading the fight against heart disease. The groundbreaking ceremony symbolising the commencement of the new building for the St Vincent's Research and Biotechnology Precinct. The building will be named the Victor Chang Building in honour of the late Dr Victor Chang and will house the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute and St Vincent's Hospital Researchers. The precinct will be developed in two stages. Our government is proud that we've been able to contribute $35 million for funding for this project. We have this long and distinguished record in medical science and research and it is fitting that the Australian Government, the Commonwealth Government, contributes $24 million to the St Vincent's Research and Biotechnology Precinct. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to visit the Victor Chang Institute and although I cannot claim to have understood all that was presented by the brilliantly minded scientists, I understood the essence. It is indeed a pleasure to be here this evening and to help support, like everyone here, the tremendously important and cutting edge work of the Victor Chang Institute. A new home where efforts can be expanded and the visionary work into the prevention of heart disease continued in the spirit of Dr. Victor Chang. My family knows all too well the impact of losing someone to heart disease, and I feel very privileged to be in a position today where I can lend my support and help to bring attention to a cause that is so very close to my heart. I think we have the people that the Institute over the next decade can really make major advances in pushing forward the, the frontiers of understanding heart muscle cell biology. And we should be able to develop, I think, some really innovative and importantly powerful new treatments. If we can do that over the next decade, we've really done something. While the Victor Chang Institute is at the forefront of world medical research, for Dr Chang, the motivating force was always the patients always the people. He realised that the way forward is not just to, to treat, treat today's patient, but to use research to treat tomorrow's patient. Victor was not uh, content with what is. He always wanted what will be.